Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, sixth grade math, section 3.1, Algebraic Expressions Lesson. Pause while you write section 3.1 lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is to evaluate an algebraic expression that contains a variable. Today we'll be starting on page 112 in your textbook. At the top of the page, we're reminded that an algebraic expression is an expression that may contain numbers, operations, and one or more symbols. Parts of an algebraic expression are called terms. Even though you wrote all of the definitions in your notebook during our last lesson, this is a really good graphic to copy into your notebook. So take a minute and pause and copy this with all of the parts labeled into your notebook. Now let's look at example one, identifying parts of an algebraic expression. We'll start by looking at the study tip. A variable by itself has a coefficient of one. So the term y in example 1b has a coefficient of 1. So let's start by looking at 1a, 5x plus 13. So the terms are 5x and 13. So those are the parts of the expression. So the coefficient, the number next to the variable is the coefficient and that is 5 and the constant is 13 so that's a number that doesn't change that's what constant means it never changes it's always going to be 13 now let's take a look at example 1b 2z squared plus y plus 3 so the terms or the parts are 2z squared y or 1y and 3. So those are all the terms and then the coefficients the numbers stuck to the variables or multiplied by the variables are 2 and 1 and the constant the number that's never going to change is 3. Now let's move on to example 2, writing algebraic expressions using exponents. Write each expression using exponents. Because d is used as a factor four times, its exponent is 4. So d times d times d times d equals d to the fourth power. So this is just like we do with numbers, only we've got a letter instead. And then we have 1.5 times h times h times h. Because h is used as a factor three times, its exponent is three. So we have 1.5 times h times h times h equals 1.5 h to the third power. So 1.5 becomes the coefficient for h. Now we're going to move on to evaluating algebraic expressions. And when we evaluate an algebraic expression, we substitute a number for each variable. Then we use the order of operations to find the value of the numerical expression. So let's look at example 3 evaluating algebraic expressions. Letter A, evaluate k plus 10 when k equals 25. So we substitute 25 for k. So k plus 10 equals 25 plus 10. And 25 plus 10 equals 35. So we added 25 and 10. Letter B says evaluate 4 times n when n equals 12. 
So 4 times n equals 4 times 12. So we substituted the, the 12 for the n. And then we multiply 4 and 12 and we get 48. Example 4, evaluating an expression with two variables. So it gets a little bit trickier here and you have to really pay attention to which variable is your a and which is b and where to put your numbers. So we have a divided by b equals and we substitute in 16 for a and 2 thirds for b. So a divided by b equals 16 divided by 2 thirds. And we know that to multiply, we know to multiply by the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 halves. So 16 times 3 halves equals 24. Example 5, we're evaluating expressions with two operations. So we're going to evaluate 3x minus 14 when x equals 5. So 3x minus 14 equals 3 times 5 minus 14 when we substitute 5 for x. 3 times 5 equals 15. So we have 15 minus 14, so we use the order of operations, and we multiply 3 and 5. And then we subtract 14 from 15, and we get 1. So the value of that expression is 1. And then we're going to evaluate z squared plus 8.5 when z equals 2. So we substitute 2 for z. So 2 squared plus 8.5. And then we multiply. We do our 2 squared first because it's the exponent. So that turns out to be 4. And then we have 4 plus 8.5. And 4 plus 8.5 equals 12.5. Finally, we get to example 6. The real life application. We're saving money to buy a skateboard. We begin with $45 and we save $3 each week. So that's important information. We're going to use our close reading strategies and circle that. The expression 45 plus 3w gives the amount of money we save after w weeks. How much money will we have after 4 weeks, 10 weeks, and 20 weeks is the first question. And then it asks, after 20 weeks, can we buy the skateboard? And explain. So here's how the book answers that question. It sets up a table is always a good idea when you're asked multiple questions like this. So 
after four weeks, we substitute in 4 for the W. So 45 plus 3 times 4. And when you do all, all of that math, you find out that you have saved $57. After 10 weeks, we've saved $75. So we're not quite up to our $125 that we need for the skateboard. And then after 20 weeks, we've saved $45 plus $60, which is only $105. So after 20 weeks, we have saved $105. So if you look over at the tag, the tag says we need to save $125. So we cannot buy the skateboard yet. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the odd numbered on your own problems below. These problems are also located on pages 112 to 114 of your text. Please be sure you show your work and are prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You need to complete your exit slip back at the website. You also need to come to our next class prepared with the journal pages that we did during the flipped lesson or any other work that we did for the flipped lesson completed. You also need to be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed and be ready with any questions you have for your teacher and as always have a good attitude. We'll see you tomorrow in class. Remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip. You must come to our next class prepared with your journal pages or any other work that we did during the flipped lesson completed. And you need to be prepared with any work that was assigned during the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have about the content of the flipped lesson and a good attitude. We'll see you in class tomorrow.